What's up, everybody? Today we'll be looking at an employee from Starbucks who is absolutely losing his mind. He runs in the back room, starts crying, and decides to shoot a video of him whining on how he doesn't want to work eight hours and eight hours is way too much and he can't take it and blah, blah, blah. Just a bunch of whining nonsense. Now, to be honest, I've worked at McDonald's, I've worked at grocery stores, and it's a hard work, but that's what life is about. <laughs> I mean, at his age, this guy has another 45 years of working. So if he's already going into the back room starting to cry, oh man, he has a rough time ahead of him. Without further ado, let's listen to this nonsense. People wonder why we need a union at Starbucks, and I am literally about to quit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but, like, I really want to. I almost walked out today, and I'm crying in the back room right now, and I almost cried on the floor. It's just, I, like, I get, I'm, I'm like, a full-time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week, and on a weekend, they schedule me the entire day, open to close. I'm on the schedule for eight and a half hours, both Saturday and Sunday. I'm, like, three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers, and we have four people on the floor all day. <laughs> So he's whining that he has to do eight and a half hour shifts on the weekend. I mean, eight hours is pretty standard. What is he crying about? Like, this is life. If you want to be a full-time student and you want a part-time job on the weekend, that's just what it is. Or else just don't and then you won't have any money to spend. Like, I don't understand what the hell is wrong with this kid. Why make a video? Like, I get it. You had a weak moment. You went into the back room and started crying. But come on, don't make a video on it. And then once you made that video, don't post it. I mean, he had time to rewatch that and thought it was a great idea to post that on YouTube or TikTok or wherever I found this. Oh my god. Only five people were put on the schedule and somebody had to call out. And there are four people running the whole store and there's so many customers and there's possibly scheduled five people. <laughs> we only have 13 people employed at this store and there's so many customers. And they are good. In my experience working at McDonald's, this is a good thing when there's a lot of customers. At least the time goes by faster. The last thing you want is a very slow day where you're just standing around and then your eight hour shift will really feel like ages. We don't have fair scheduling. Managers don't care about us. Our manager was supposed to come in this weekend and he took himself off the schedule so he wouldn't be able to be held accountable for calling out. He just literally tore down the schedule that he was scheduled on and put up a new schedule where he wasn't on the schedule. Also, he couldn't have even seen that he was scheduled in the first place because he didn't want to be held accountable for not wanting to come in. <laughs> they don't want to help us. Here's the thing this guy doesn't understand. When you start at a company, you are at the bottom of the totem pole. You need to work your way up and then you'll be able to ask favors and maybe control your schedule a little bit more. But you have to earn it. You just don't walk in there and expecting this and demanding that. It doesn't work like that. You need to prove your worth first. And I don't think it's a Generation Z thing because kids these days are really good hustlers, especially with the power of the internet. I think it's just this guy's choosing to be a whining baby. We need a union because this can't happen. This can't happen. We need fair scheduling. We need managers to hold themselves accountable for helping their workers. They refuse to turn mobile orders off. We need the liberty to be able to do that because there's so many mobile orders and I need to get through all of them. And then people are yelling at me because they don't have their orders ready. And they don't know what to do. <laughs> And a customer was misgendering me tonight, like, really badly. I didn't have their order ready. And so they were just, like, talking, talking to each other. And they're like, she's clearly incompetent. I have a full mustache and beard. <laughs> To be honest, that goes with the territory. At McDonald's, I've seen some of the most deranged individuals acting like psychopaths when they want to get their fries. And that's just part of the fast food business, to be honest. This kid was way too sheltered when he was young because he has the thinnest skin I've ever seen. And if he thinks the Starbucks customers are rude, well, wait till he sees the kind of stuff the internet can do. Oh my God, the internet is gonna go wild on him. I hope he doesn't read the comments because it's really gonna affect him negatively. <laughs> like I can't, you, like I, people get mad at me for too much sick time. I don't even know what to do anymore. 
I'm like at my wits end with this job. I really am. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of the sad little rant. And like I said before, making this video is a bad idea. He should have not done this. He should have recorded it maybe if he felt like he needs to let it out, but then delete it immediately. Don't post it on the internet. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. If I made you laugh, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.